Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we're doing the much anticipated Windows 11 versus ransomware test. We have tested Windows Defender versus ransomware in the past, which has definitely garnered some attention. Now we're gonna redo the tests with Windows 11 to see if there are any major changes. This video is brought to you by Provado. If you want a truly free VPN with advanced features, check them out using the link in the description or stay tuned till the end of this video. We have a fully up-to-date Windows 11 system over here with all of the cumulative updates. We've got Windows Defender fully turned on and ready to go. And on the other side, we have some of the most infamous threats from the last five years, all the ransomware you can find on the wild west of the internet. And we're going to automate a test on this VM using our test script Malex. So without further ado, let the testing begin. As you can see, threats are being blocked, as you would expect, by Windows Security. Keep in mind, these are well-known threats. We're going to do this test two ways. So first, we're going to have everything turned on, full access to the internet, and we'll see if this ransomware is blocked. If we're going by industry standards, I would expect all of them to be blocked in this test. We're down to 73% and so far we've not had a miss, which is good. If you remember in the video with Windows 10, we did have a miss. It seems like that has changed with the updates. Now, interestingly, when I ran the test with Windows 11 stock install without any updates, it still had the same miss that it had with Windows 10. So make sure you update your systems because otherwise it's uh, going to miss ransomware that's years old. And now the test is done. So we've executed all 65 of our samples and a full 100% have been blocked proactively. That's good to see. Now we're gonna redo the test, but this time we're going to disconnect from the internet because I'm assuming a lot of these are just simple cloud lookups. Because again, we are dealing with well-known threats. We're not testing zero days. We're not testing new ransomware that was released today or yesterday. So I would expect everything to be in their threat intelligence somewhere. So if it queries the cloud, finds that this hash is in there as a known threat, blocks it, that's fine. But we wanna see if the behavioral defenses on the system can actually hold up to the kind of behavior that you would see from ransomware because you would see that even with newer threats. So we're trying to see what would happen if a brand new ransomware were to come out, would it still be blocked behaviorally? So we're going to restore to snapshot. I'm gonna hit the kill switch and now, same system, same setup, we're just going to redo the test. And as they say, Geronimo! And it's good to know that threats are still being blocked, so Windows Defender isn't completely useless without the internet. But as you can see, now we're starting to see some misses. So this is the threat behavior, so blackclaw.exe is currently making some modifications to our system, and as you can see, our system is actually being <laughs> encrypted right now, and I have a suspicion it's not the only threat. So we definitely have more threats running at this point. If we exit out of the F Society ransomware, you can see the test is still going. We're only at 30% this time. And wow, we've got a crypto wall.htm page being <laughs> created. That's nice. The task seems to have frozen. I guess we're gonna give it another go and see if we can get it to complete. We're back and ready to rerun the test. I've also added some pictures to the desktop so we can see any modifications much more easily. Here we go again. We're seeing the same behavior as before so far. And now we have the shell locker pop-up. I'm not sure how nice it is to see an assortment of skulls on the desktop, but again, the main thing we're looking at here is whether or not it's going to encrypt stuff. But hey, I can't even do that because the screen is locked. I guess it's shell locked. That's the computer equivalent of shell shocked. Getting back in and unfortunately it's not good news. It looks like everything is encrypted. As you can see, the pictures on our desktop are <laughs> no longer recognizable as pictures. And if we open one of these files, I think our fears will be realized. 
if we can even do that. Well, maybe we can't because Shell Locker says, I think not. So there you have it. That's Windows 11 versus ransomware for you. While in theory, the results are slightly better. I mean, the difference is likely just an additional signature, especially since when I tested it without the updates, it still didn't block Scarab, which is one of the threats that it missed last time. So again, not super thrilled. I don't think there are any major upgrades in terms of security, if you're looking for that. This is kind of why I'm not necessarily a huge fan of Windows Defender and the way it's implemented. It's better than nothing for sure, but it's not the best protection you can get, not by a long shot. But if you do intend on using Windows Defender, I think there are a couple of things that you can look at. So first of all, under VARS protection, they do have a section called ransomware protection. And if you click on that, there's the setting called controlled folder access. What this does is allows you to set a specific folder where programs are not going to be able to delete your data without you specifically allowing them. So again, it's not the most convenient thing, but if you are using Windows Defender, I would recommend turning this on. Windows also does a good job of reminding you to back up with uh, OneDrive. So make sure if you have any important documents on your desktop that they're all backed up. If you are hit by a major ransomware attack, may not be enough. Now, another thing that has been added with updates to Windows Defender that I do like is PUP blocking. Now this setting was always accessible using uh, GP Edit or Group Policy, but what if you use Windows Home? So now it's available right here in the Windows Defender interface, so that's nice. You can always enable this if you want it to block PUPs. For the most part, this is still Windows 10 Defender. And also, if you would like to use Malix to run tests for your business, we do offer that as service, so feel free to reach out at thepcsecuritychannel.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security Channel because we've got a lot of exciting cybersecurity content coming up. We're working on our own simulated tests and a lot of exciting stuff, so stay tuned for that. This video is brought to you by Provado VPN. It's protected by Swiss privacy laws, allows you to safely access content anywhere in the globe, and has a free VPN that's actually usable. It gives you 10 gigabytes of data every 30 days, no logs, and 256-bit AES encryption. So if you want to try out a VPN that's truly free, give them a shot. Link in the description. It's absolutely free to download and start using right now and you can get 10 gigabytes of data, which is actually usable. The application is super simple and easy to use. It's got a kill switch on the home screen. It's got lots of locations to choose from. But most importantly, I have done some research on these guys and they actually use their own infrastructure. A lot of VPN providers, including some of the major ones, will lease out infrastructure. And that means you don't have control over the data. It depends on the infrastructure provider. But in this case, they actually own the infrastructure that they use. And as a result, you get very good performance, consistency, and also there's accountability in terms of security. I do come across a lot of VPNs, but this one has really got my attention. It's what I'm using primarily at the moment. So check them out using the link in the description. You can use it for free. So give them a shot and show them some love for sponsoring the PC Security Channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.